do some bass fishing. The sun is strong. There's not much cloud in the sky. You need some suntan lotion, you know? Don't forget to put that on when you're out on the water for more than just 15 minutes. It's good to have zinc type of suntan lotion. 50 power. Okay, thanks for joining me. Let's see if we can catch something today. Just felt my first bite. It's in the shallows about six feet. Early spring. Oh my god. I see a fish right over there. It's coming towards me. It's a bass. Finessing doesn't seem to be working. I'm using a Senko. It usually works pretty well for me, but I think I need to change it up. So, I bought something the other day. It's one of the newer generation Rapala crankbaits Balsa Extreme series. And this is the BXB6. It caught my eye because I really like lures that usually have like a a reflective surface, silver, like brighter colors. And also the belly has, has a little red on it. So if a fish has some uh, injury, the bass take advantage. And bass, all bass love shad. They'll attack it no matter what. I like it also because it's nice and heavy. It's 3 8 of an ounce. It can cast pretty far. And it has a swim depth of 6 feet. If you want it to go shallower, slow down your cranking. We got something on a crankbait. Um, stay on please. Oh, it's nice and strong. It's not big. It's a smolly. But I'll take it please. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, got it. I got it. Oh my god. This was uh, about two and a half hours of being out here. Trying to use uh, Senko. Nothing. Final crankbait. We don't like getting skunked, do we? He's on there pretty good. It's just like right on the soft of the mouth. Beautiful colors, like tiger pattern. Isn't that beautiful? I'm trying to get skunked, man. Ah. No, don't get me wet. Water's still cold. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you following me? Oh my god. You're a domesticated goose. What do you want? You're a friendly one. Yeah, hello. I see you. Yes, yes, yes. This one feels better. Stay on. Hook set. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe not. It's a foul hooked bluegill. But it's a nice size. Oh my god, this season I'm foul hooking fish, man. Ha ha ha! Look at that. Um, oh. <laughs> yourself off. Thank you. Where are you? These guys, the fins are sharp. Yes. 
these, when they stick out, they're sharp. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. That's a nice size one. Look at that. I will take it. Any fish that shows interest and goes up to the lure and is hooked, I consider that a catch. <laughs> Hardly even hooked. It wasn't even hooked through the mouth. Look at that. From a small fish to bigger fish. I like it. They're here and they are going for the crankbait this spring. In this pristine clear lake. Usually the belly would be bulging a little more if they were spawning. both solo today but I must go home now see you later so it was a good day I guess the takeaway is don't dwell on one technique for too long I was relying on the Senko technique and before I knew it it was almost three hours then I decided let me look in my tackle box and see what I have Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, hey, I know I'm not supposed to feed geese, but you look so sad and lonely. I have some crackers. Would you like some crackers?